there's yeah. something it's like primal like sort of cavemanish you know eating meat like this off the fire with a skewer and it just feels so nice so look i i like this so much that i'm on i'm on round two <laughs> or, or may have some later on but hi and welcome to another episode of eating istanbul come over here Look at this. Look at that big chunk of meat. That's what we're going to be eating today. This and another big chunk of meat later in the day. I'm with Ur. Ur is a local and this is Donder Kebab. It's beef. Just look at that fat coconut. Come closer. Look at that hot flame and all those chunks of meat. There we go. It's wrapping it up in a sandwich over there. We're going to have the portion today, which is just all that meat in a plate. They give you some tomatoes and peppers and onions and pickles as a, as a side. I'm starving. Like I haven't had breakfast. Ur has been waiting for an hour. I, I gave him the wrong time, so he's been waiting for a while. But just, just look at this. Whoa, look at this. This is everything you'll ever need. Oh, we're gonna go eat this. After this, by the way, we're going to have jar kebab in Sirkeje. It's lamb kebab. And it's it's also on like sort of a fire, but it's not vertical, it's diagonal or horizontal, I should say. And and I mean, it's also fantastic. And let's go there when we're done and we'll see that too. Let's go. So our donut portion has just arrived. This is 30 lira, which is about four dollars. I'll be honest with you, I'm pretty starving. I mean, walking through here and up here, and you've seen that big chunk of meat. I've never been here before. Would have you been here before? Yeah, I've been here before like two years. Yeah. This is very good. Yeah. I like this a lot. I mean, I'll be honest with you, donut isn't very expensive throughout the whole of Istanbul. 30 lira for this portion is a lot. I mean, you get you get the pickles and you get the tomatoes on the house yeah. and the bread, and you kind of need that just to break everything. But this is good, very good donut. Yeah. Oh, when's the first time you had donut in your life? Six months? <laughs> One year? Two years? Are so you a bit of baby? Was it the first meat you ever eaten in your life? I remember I was five. You were five? <laughs> Guess what you remember. That's quite long, I mean, you know. Your mother should have started you on meat a bit earlier, but anyway, what's your take on this? Better than I expected. I'll be honest with you, it's better than I expected as well. I mean, I did expect it to be quite good. I just think that, I mean, on a global standard, $4 isn't too much for a chunk of meat. But by Istanbul spanners, it is expensive. If this was about two and a half lira, I mean two and a half dollars, which would be about 16 lira, it's what you may expect at a normal place. I'll give this a nine, nine out of 10. But because it's $4, Eight out of ten for me, but it really is good. It's got a lot of flavor. Usually, I'd have to take lots of salt and pepper, and I just have chosen not to. I'm just gonna get some pickles. I'll make a little sort of sandwich. I've finished my meal, and I mean, I'll be honest with you. I've just spent thirty lira, which is. You know, it's four dollars, so it doesn't sound like a lot of money, but usually for 30 lira, at most places in Istanbul, you should get a portion at least this big. Um, I do like the donut though. I like, I like, it's very good, it's very tasty. So I'm gonna stick with eight out of 10, but mainly because of the price. If this was about, you know, the re regular price, which you would expect to pay for a plate this size, about 18 or 20 lira, which is just, just less than three dollars, then I would go with maybe eight and a half, nine out of 10, but eight out of 10. Or for you? For me, it's seven out of 10, and I can say I've been to better places. Like like many better places, or like is this one of the better places you've been to in Istanbul? I I can't say this is a very bad place or a bad place, but there are better uh, donor uh, kebab shops in Istanbul that you've had, and uh, that are better valued as well. Look, if you are going to come to Istanbul and you want to sort of experience a very famous donor place, this is worth it. But don't come here expecting value for money. But the meat itself is very flavorful, and I mean I I mean usually you'll see this, but usually when you go to donut kebab places, there's these long strips, and I prefer it when it's like this. It's just lots of small little little pieces, very crispy, big chunk of meat. And honestly, when, when I came here, I was starving, and you see this big chunk of meat, and you feel good, you know, you feel like this is how I'm going to satisfy that hunger, <laughs> and it's speaks to it with something inside of you and that's fantastic but we'll see you later so we've arrived Ur and I at Shezadi Jakobab and let me show you how this is kind of the same but different oh yeah look at that and you can see it's different it's horizontal all that meat's just coming off and then they put it on these little sticks so this is fantastic 
It's basically a portion of the jar kebab and then we've asked for some yogurt and some salad and some esme which is this tomato sauce, tomato paste, kind of like it's tomato and it's mixed up with parsley and onion and peppers and it's, it really is fantastic. It's a similar price per portion to the other place which was 30 lira and the other place they kind of gave you the salads for free. We didn't get yogurt, we got Aaron. But the difference is, I mean this is lamb which is sometimes more expensive than doner. Jar kebab on the whole is more expensive than doner kebab in most places in Turkey but I mean it's the only thing they sell, it's fantastic. Uh, or this time no wait. Here we go, each of us gets a plate. And this portion, it's it's two sticks basically. It's 28 lira, which is, again, it's like $4. This you get, we've also gotten yogurt. All of this is nine lira, this is not, this is free. It's onions with sumac, this purple spice is sumac. That's nine lira, nine lira, and yogurt, which Ur is very excited about, is nine lira as well. I'm gonna have a bit of this yogurt right now. And Ur, you can take some. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I liked the, the atmosphere at at, um, at Karadine's Donner because it was like, you know, treat and there's a big piece of meat. But eating here at Shezada is just a lot more relaxed. You know, I mean, you get a nice place on the table. I mean, uh, to get a nice table outside, the food comes very quickly. Hardly any weight because the meat's ready. I'm just getting everything lined up. So when I start eating, it's all in my plate and we can go. I'm just gonna initially just start off by just tasting the meat. Okay, it's really nice. It needs salt. I think it needs salt, yeah. Or oh, lemon. Actually, I'm gonna ask for some lemon. There we go, there's Ur taking some meat. Only meat. Much better than uh, Donner. Ur likes it already. Kenny wasn't impressed by waiting for an hour for his small piece of meat. There we go. I, I've asked for some lemons because I want some lemon. I like, I know it's, a, it's an odd thing. Whenever I ask for lemon for meat, many of my uh, Turkish friends look at me, but it's a common thing that I do. I know it's better than salt sometimes. I'm gonna have some of this too with it. Very good. There's these chunks of fat in between the lamb. And it's actually just dripped over that. And what that means is, it makes the lamb just very, very tasty. And while it's roasting in all that time, you know, it just gives it a great, I I'm gonna add more salt, I'll be honest with you. I'm gonna take some of this. That's so good, really good. Look, the entire meal per person is probably gonna be about five and a half dollars before our drinks are included, which takes about six dollars because of the size. And it's pure lamb, it's a decent sized portion. Ur, what's your take? You prefer this or do you like... Uh... I prefer this one. Is this a case of, do you always prefer jar kebab, doner kebab? Or do you, is it just about this place and Kara Dinez doner? Yeah, of course I always prefer jar kebab instead of doner. And also doner is like more, more a common food. Like you can find it anywhere, but jar kebab is something more, more of a more special. It just adds a layer of flavor, all of these things, and it's just I'm, I'm loving this. What about the price? That whole meal with the Iran was like $5 a person, just this. This is slightly more, but we're getting all of this with, I mean, including that. And it's about the same amount of meat, I think. I think it's a good price. Also, I mean, this is what you normally play for jar kebab in Istanbul. You, you're not gonna find jar kebab for cheaper than this. I mean, you will, but not by much cheaper. It's so nice. It's so good. Wow. You know, you like, it's this crispiness and this fat, and it's all just coming through. I'm not having as much bread because, you know, but I mean, you kind of just need a bit of bread. The truth is, the portion size is about the same. This may look like a bit more, but it's just because this is like on sticks and that was all kind of mixed up. It's like for like, basically, in terms of price then. But this is tastier. I'm really done and Gokhan hasn't even started. So, yeah. <laughs> There's yeah. something, it's like primal, like sort of cavemanish, you know? Eating meat like this off the fire with a skewer. And it just feels so nice. And this has been a great, great, great meal. 28 lira, it's about $4 a, because we split this, it's about another, you know, probably about $6 a person for a single portion. I had two portions. Nine out of 10, but you say this is eight, nine out of 10. You gave the other place a seven, I gave it an eight, so let's give it a seven and a half between us. So, Jakobar wins this time. What was interesting, off camera when we were eating, Gokhan said he usually prefers doner kebab. Like, but he actually liked the jar kebab here a lot more than, he, than the ones we just had. So um, this is the kebab capital of the world. Till next time guys, enjoy yourselves. We're gonna come back with some more amazing food from Istanbul.
Next time, see you guys. Bye. Bye bye.